Hey, what's happening guys? Jala in Tech here. So yet another project. Basically what I'm trying to do here is, um, you know, upgrade my SSD on my MacBook Pro into a larger size. So about last year I upgraded from a mechanical hard drive uh, to a SSD, but I only went with the 240 gigabytes, which is the black one in the back right there. Um, so I ran out of space really quickly because I use bootcamp on uh, my MacBook Pro as well. But I will tell you, if you haven't upgraded yet or you're hesitant about upgrading from the mechanical hard drive to the SSD, it's probably the best upgrade you could ever do for yourself as far as your old computer is concerned. I mean, the boot up is like fast. I mean, it boots in seconds. Uh, and, you know, and, you know, my SSD actually is not like the top of the line, my current one. But still, I mean, it takes like four seconds to boot my uh, my MacBook Pro. I have a mid 2012 uh, and prior to that, I mean, it boot a lot longer than that. It takes like minutes to boot. Now it's like seconds. So you should do that if you're hesitant about doing it. I'm giving you to go ahead. You should go ahead and uh, upgrade to solid state. Mechanical hard drives are heavier. They consume a lot more heat or produce a lot more heat and uh, consume a lot more energy and they're slower. So solid state is a way to go. Anyway, back to the topic. So I thought I needed, uh, well, I need. I knew I needed a new uh, space, so I went with a one terabyte hard drive. But there comes the problem. How do I copy it exactly the way it is as the current solid state drive and then keeping my Windows bootcamp? Um, so I got on the internet. I found a lot of stuff about WinClone doing it and all that. It's just a lot of steps, guys. I don't have, I don't know about you, but I just don't have time for that. Um, and then also it's not free. So, but I'm like, okay, well, I might have to do that because I don't have to do, I don't want to do a clean install. So I went ahead and um, got online, um, just looking for, a, you know, a hard drive mount or, you know, um, an uh, SSD mount. So I came across this beautiful piece right here. Um, this basically does cloning offline. As you can see right now, I'm going to zoom in. You can see the process. So right now it's almost at 100% right there. So all you do is, you know, you plug it in to power. Okay, guys. And then you press this button for three seconds. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, that would be three seconds. And then when the light blinks on the 100%, you press it one more and it's going to start cloning. And it's really fast, guys, because my 240 gig is almost full. I only have like 25 gig free. And this is like almost done. Okay. Now I'm hoping that this works. I haven't tried it out yet. So what I'm trying to achieve right here is just copy whatever is on my old SSD to the new SSD, maintain Windows, but I haven't to do a clean install. So I hope this works, guys. Um, just gonna update you. We're gonna kind of go through the learning curve ourselves uh, together here uh, and see if it works. All right, guys. So I will flip to the next video when I actually get to mount the new solid state in and then see if it actually worked. All right, guys. There it is, guys. I'm excited. Uh, so all the uh, gauges have lit up. This is basically the 100% indicator right there. Um, this is the the source and then this is the target hard drives right here or SSDs. Uh, and it says it's complete. So I'm going to pop them out and put the new one into my uh, MacBook Pro and see what happens if you will boot from it or not. Okay, fingers crossed. There, fingers crossed. All right, guys, so the cloning after 10 minutes has been done. I am going to go ahead and pop the new SSD in and see if, uh, you know, that new clone actually worked or not. Okay, so I already got this open because I had to. Uh, the downside is you cannot clone it while the hard drive, the current hard drive or the old hard drive is still in the computer. So you have to pull them both out uh, and then clone them together. Um, I was thinking that I could just plug it in and have them clone, but uh, it doesn't, I guess that makes sense because it's an offline clone. Uh, but I like the idea because it's not selective. It's just basically just going to copy exactly what, at least the intention is to copy exactly what's on the old hard drive into the new hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in now uh, and then see if it's going to work.
moment of truth guys i just put the new ssd in and i am about to turn it on i'm kind of excited about this and nervous at the same time so let's see oh boy here's something that's always a good thing apple logo came up it's loading okay so that looks like it so far on the windows side okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pop in and see what happens there I'll go ahead and put my password so nervous i can't even type properly <laughs> okay so and enter see what happens here so it looks like on the Mac side, everything is looking the same. Everything is looking exactly like it is, just like you would, if, you know, if you cloned, which is suspected, right? So everything is looking the same here. I'm guessing even my recent, uh, you know, files are there as well. So everything looks exactly the same. Um, let's go to um, this utility here and see if it's displaying uh if it's displaying my uh my boot camp okay so it's still displaying the boot camp right here i think the problem with this i am sensing right now might be that set so internal volume oh, disabled is that it copies it so it looks exactly like it's still showing the image of the old hard drive which is saying that you know i only had about 200 gigabytes as you can see right there available but this is a one terabyte and it says i have 28 gigabytes free so i think this is probably where the hiccup might be so i'm gonna see if i can go around that okay so i'm gonna go ahead here petition so the mac os worked I just have to uh, resize the petition, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and check the windows quickly, see if that works as well. I see it, so it might work just fine. And voila guys, so it looks like the window worked as well. So the offline clone is probably the easiest way to go. Okay, so you can see guys, my windows is working just fine as well. Everything is working fine. Uh, this is half the battle though, so I just need to download softwares 